RAPT stands for the solution of open physics problems, which uh, high school students do and um, gives them a chance to go beyond what they normally do in the school syllabus. And it started in the 80s in Russia, but now it's, it's over 30 countries worldwide participating. It's a different competition to other science competitions in that you are not writing a test. It's actually research. At the end of every summer, 17 new problems are presented on the website iopt.org. There's a title, and then there's a brief description, and then a statement as to how you should then work with the problem. It's a very brief explanation of the problem. They are very open, and with that comes then they are very challenging, but there is no team that can completely solve the problem. There are many ways to attack it. What what you finally present. In April, May, we then host a national competition where we select five students to go on to form Team Sweden that will participate in the international competition. Then towards the international competition, we host summer camps in order to help the students finalize their problems. This year, the tournament will take place in Romania, but every year it changes, so it's a great opportunity to travel. So, I mean, IYPT is so international because we're able to connect with other students around the world and, of course, we have to go to different places around the world. Of course, we have the team and we create this almost like small community between the professors and students and we sort of learn off each other. We also have some contacts in the university in the physics field, both teachers and university students. We build sort of a community around the students working on the problems that year. Anyone would benefit, like, theoretically from doing the experiments and performing them since you get to see like all those stuff in action and it's definitely helped to improve my knowledge of physics. A large benefit is to actually act scientifically, to listen, evaluate, respond to or present questions to what you have heard. And with that training, you are very well prepared for your future career in science. The best way I would recommend you start with IPT is um, get into contact with your physics teacher uh, to supervise you uh, in as an extended essay or gymnasia beta or something like that. I was taught from a teacher of mine about our IPT and he explained that it was this tournament where you can research about all these different physics problems and I found it interesting. It was through my school and my physics professor actually introduced me to this uh, competition. So you get to meet other like-minded people, you get to do a piece of work which contributes to your diploma, you get a lot of in-depth knowledge which goes beyond uh, the school syllabus and it's often university level physics and it's also something good to put on your CV uh, when you apply for university or a job in, in the future life. If you need more help then don't hesitate to contact us in IOPT Sweden by going into iypt.se We are facing a great challenge. We are fighting harsh competition and we need new young competitive physicists. Every year students from around the world meet and fight for their countries in IYPT and we need you. Contact IYPT Sweden to join today.